Alrighty guys, um, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be revamping one of my older models. This one is Death Row. I believe it's an old Tom Daniels kit that was re-released in like 2010, 2011-ish I want to say. Um, it was a drag car, and it had these slicks on it, which it's still I still have. I just ripped them off not that long ago. Doing the revamp on this thing. Tore the whole suspension apart. I've been just completely revamping this old car. And trying to make it look more... Cooler, I guess. <laughs> um, if I was going for anything at the time, I think I wanted to make something that looked super scary and super badass. And... Before anyone freaks out about me doing this to this old kit, I do have to say... My hobby shop couldn't give these kits away if they tried. They had so many of these kits in stock. I know it's kind of hard to find these kits nowadays, but they could not give these away back then. So don't freak out on me for it because this was a very cheap kit and also very, um, very fun, very easy kit to go together. Um, so don't hate me for doing this because at the time I thought nothing of it and now it's kind of too late. So whatever. We got a roof rack from a toy Toyota FJ that I found or FJ Cruiser that I found at a five below uh, this machine gun from Brick Arms which was from another build that I was unhappy with I gotta repaint it it's got this weird rust on it and it doesn't look good um, we got some mesh on there that's not glued down the whole suspension has been taken from a Chevy truck and just completely revamped uh, it gave the car more height which is what I wanted. It was too low. And I do have more stuff I'm going to be putting on it. Like this machine gun. It's going to go right here. It'll be mounted on the door. So we're going to have two machine guns on this thing. Make it look even more aggressive. The interior is really nothing special. I didn't bother doing much with it. I've been trying to repaint it just to cover it up a little bit more. It doesn't look great. But it's whatever. I did cut a hole in the roof. A little bit sloppy, but it's whatever. It's post-apocalyptic. It doesn't really matter. And I've been doing some subtle weathering to it. Um, you can tell that the car is very rusty, but it was a lot worse when I first found this thing again. I've been dry brushing some black paint. This is chalky acrylic paint. You can get at Michael's for like two bucks. And because the vehicle is flat black, it does help make the weather the weathering a little bit better just dry brushing it over all the crazy spots that I did I'll show you the underneath which isn't great big orange spot right there because this kit was molded in orange you can see right there but it's whatever I wanted to make it look like it's four wheel drive you know my idea is that a post-apocalyptic vehicle should have at least four-wheel drive. You don't need to have diff lockers. Obviously, it would be better if you did, but, you know, at least a basic form of four-wheel drive is probably better than nothing. I'm not saying your vehicle has to be a rock crawler, but whenever I see post-apocalyptic video vi videos, vehicles that are just, like, slammed to the ground, I'm like, what do you do when you got to go into a, mud a muddy spot? Anyway. The rear of the car has these crazy spikes that don't look very good, uh, but I'm going to try to paint them up a little bit better. I think my idea was based on uh, Oxide Fox where he talked about a vehicle trying to do a pit maneuver on you. So, yeah, one one side, the tire sticks out more. The, the, the rear axle is not straight, not even remotely, but um, we're just going to ignore that. So yeah, it's been really fun revamping one of my old models, and I'll have this thing finished up again, or fixed up again, and looking even better than it was before, sometime in the future. So yeah, it's going to be my little weekend project. I'll see you guys when this thing's done. Alright, and I'm back. Um, as you can see, it's a lot more toned down. 
doesn't really show up that well on camera, but I cut down the spikes a bit. I'm going to use some AK Interactive Rust Deposit, Crust of Rust Deposits on those, uh, because I thought they looked too cartoony. They were way too big. They just didn't look right to me. Um... And I've just been dulling down the paint. This is just still mocked up. I didn't really glue anything up top. I've been putting a wash over the front just to dull everything down. It's way too bright. So I'm just dulling everything as much as I can. And I think it looks a lot better. It looks a lot more gritty, which I really dig. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next update probably will be finished. Alrighty, guys. I think that'll just about do it for this video. I'm so happy that I decided to just work on something that I hadn't worked on in a while. It's been a while since I really did a model because, I'm gonna be honest, I've been kind of, I don't know how you say it, like, I don't know, unmotivated, I guess, when it comes to models. I've been kind of like, like, I'd get into the the groove of, like, oh, I want to do this, and then I want to do that, and then when I go to, like, check out of buying another model kit, I just go, nah, I don't really feel like doing that. I don't know. It's it's been, it's been weird for me recently. I haven't really had that much motivation to sit down and paint something and build something and glue it and everything. So this was definitely fun. It was fun to a little, do a little revamp on one of my models. Um, the wheels and tires are taken from a Chevy truck as well as a suspension. So it gives the, the car four wheel drive, which makes it more capable. Um, I talked about this before on Instagram and I'm also gonna talk about it here. One of the things that I've always felt gets lost in translation when it comes to making a post-apocalyptic vehicle is ground clearance and capability. Your car could be as cool and armored as you want, but ground clearance, I think, is something that's really kind of thrown to the wayside or is completely forgotten about. I'm not saying your car has to be a rock crawler, but having basic four-wheel drive is probably better than nothing. Um, so yeah, just kind of my thought process there. Um, this was pretty fun. What I've added is... Um, two machine guns. You could see the roof rack that was from a FJ Cruiser that I found at Five Below for like two bucks. Um, the two lights are from a Toyota, uh, which I did paint the inside of those chrome to get that nice realistic reflective material, whatever the hell it's inside. Probably metal. Um, because I imagine that, you know, you want your spotlights to work and not be rusted and not working. So I kept those shiny, like they keep them maintained. Um, the vehicle has been dry brushed like crazy, um, just to get rid of a lot of the brightness that the rust had. I just think it just looks so much better than it did before. It's not as bright and, like, colorful, I guess, as it was before. Let me just slow down the table here. But, uh, yeah. I like to imagine that the machine gun on top is a big 50 cal, and the smaller one on the side is probably, like, a 30 cal machine gun. That's from, uh, Brick Arms. I painted that and just glued it and mounted it to the top. Anyways... Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll definitely be looking into more projects. And uh, it was just fun to do something a little bit different. To go back to one of your old projects that you weren't really all that happy with. And, um, you know, just completely redo it. Well, not redo it, but just make it better. And I think I definitely did. I forgot to mention, uh, I did cut down the spikes. The spikes are a lot shorter than they were when I first got this thing again, when I first found it again, so they look a little bit better, they're not as cartoony, but yeah, I kept the fronts kind of huge because I think it just makes the vehicle look a lot more aggressive, and in the rear it kind of looked 
comical, I guess. <laughs> it looked really goofy looking, but up front I think it's fine because the front end is trying to be as over the top as possible. So yeah, maybe I'll integrate this into my World of Dragons. Maybe it'll be a reoccurring vehicle or something because I really like the look of it now. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time and uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So have a good one.